talking about big data, it's a, it's a huge subject. Um, one of the, your concepts you were talking about, um, you mentioned volume and velocity, which I think a lot of us are, are, are familiar when we think big data, tons of it and coming at a, at a, at a fast clip all the time. Uh, what are some of the other factors I involved in, uh, in big data? And so you're right, well, volume is what people focus on and that's where the bigness comes from, but the velocity is just as key as you point out. The, the data is coming really, really fast. As we instrument more and more of the real world in our business systems, we have both all these interconnections and the need to analyze them at speed. But I think there's more to it, and conveniently enough, they all start with V. So the next one I'd submit is variety. Classically, we had very fixed kinds of data, essentially transactions with predictable fields and fairly straightforward kind of representation. At this point, we have not only those kinds of data streams, but all sorts of new things, and a lot of it's unstructured. So we have documents and images and tweets and, and uh, weather reports and all kinds of things that need to be considered, all of which could be just as germane to the business questions we're trying to solve as that classically uh, structured uh, data. Uh, a couple more Vs for you would be the notions that we have to think not only about the traits of the data itself, but look through a couple lenses at the data. And in this case, I would suggest veracity and vulnerability. Veracity has to do with how much we can trust the data, how true it is, and, and what we need to do to authenticate and assess the accuracy of the data involved and assure the, the accuracy of the data. And then vulnerability has to do with uh, a question that we all see uh, more and more examples of around just how much we have to be careful to safeguard the data because uh, inside it are a lot of, uh, of key uh, traits, personal information, uh, confidential business information, et cetera. And so understanding how vulnerable that data is is just as key. I read an analogy about big data in that uh, and investing in big data uh, as a mountain with gold in it and that deciding, a company needs to decide whether how to, both how to access that gold and how much it's going to cost, how much investment it takes to access that gold. Um, can you talk a little bit about how Canadian companies can, can start to, to think about those questions? Sure, and you're onto a key point because just having a lot of it doesn't really get us anywhere. We've had the ability to accumulate data and, and store it for a long time, but making the investment in the skills and in many cases in the, in the software technologies to provide real analytics, so to match up the business questions and the business insight to all this data that's available is really the key. And I think that's the, uh, that's the step we've got to take uh, to be sure that we, we have the chance of getting that gold out of the mountain. Mm -hmm.